Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you gameplay of the new hero skins which have released in the latest Battlefront 2 update for the Rise of Skywalker film. I'll be showing you the credit cost, what they look like, the things they change and of course actual gameplay of them in action. So without further ado, let's get on to it. There are three different skins with the Rise of Skywalker update, one for Rey, Finn and Kylo Ren. Now a lot of people have been saying this skin is identical to the Scavenger skin except it's more white and has a hood. This is simply not true. It includes a brand new hairstyle, it's not the same three buns, it's slightly different and accurate to the Rise of Skywalker film. The lightsaber hilt has been repaired as seen in the film as well which is a nice touch. The actual cloth is not the same as it seen with the scavenger skin, the default skin. The seams where the cloth overlaps are not the same. Neither is her belt and she also has strands of hair coming down near her ear which is not present in the scavenger skin. I'm surprised they did not change this for the scavenger skin as well but they've actually done it because the hair is a little bit more in the Rise of Skywalker, which is good. Oh, and her face texture is actually a little bit different to the other skins in the game. It's actually a little bit more accurate, in my opinion, to Daisy's face, and that is only available with this skin as well. But overall, I think this is Ray's best skin. I really like it, but now let's take a look at Finn's skin. So this is the Resistance Hero skin and this completely changes everything about Finn except for his face. He has a new hairstyle, all of his trousers, shoes, jacket, everything's completely different and it looks awesome. It's very authentic to the film. I'm very glad Finn got this skin and if you're thinking about getting a skin then I would definitely get recommend checking this out because this is Finn's only skin and it's very good. And then Kylo Ren has his Supreme Leader skin, and this is very much similar to his scarred appearance, the one from The Last Jedi without the cape and helmet. Basically, his body and bottoms are completely the same, except he gains the cape and the new repaired helmet with the red cracks. So, the actual body is identical, we've already got that in game, so is his bottoms and shoes and whatnot, so... It's actually the least changed of these three skins compared to the other skins we have in the game. All of these skins cost 40,000 credits each or a thousand crystals, but if you do have the Celebration Edition, you will get all of these included with the price, even if you've already purchased it, so you don't have to worry about spending credits or crystals. I'll leave you guys with some extra gameplay of these hero skins, and be sure to let me know down in the comment section below which hero skins of these three will you be purchasing, which ones are your favourites. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Stop it. Do not oppose me. 